Hi, it's Robert Mitchell, and I'm here in Toronto International Film Festival. Hi. Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Welcome to Midnight Madness. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. Hi, it's Robert Mitchell, and I'm here at the 2016 Toronto International Film Festival. And tonight I'm here at the premiere of The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Farrell, welcome to Midnight Madness. Thank you. Thank you. We're excited to be here. So I was reading uh, about this film and uh, it wound up on this two, uh, 2013 blacklist with some other amazing films. And so could you talk about writing the film and uh, the um, journey to get it made into a motion picture? You want to take that? Uh, well, it's crazy that it's we started about six years ago uh, just with the core idea of it and we pitched it to our friend and producer Eric Garcia and Fred Berger and then spent the next couple years developing it and uh, you know it's it's come a long way it's gone through a lot of different iterations a lot of different drafts since then we, and we kind of had the luxury of developing it and, and writing the script in a vacuum and our producers were amazing and so we were able to kind of take chances and, and do whatever we wanted to do without outside interference so to see it you know come to this moment is pretty incredible where did you guys come up with the idea for uh, the autopsy of Jane Doe it's totally autobiographical <laughs> um, based on an experience we had yeah. in, in childhood yeah. now <laughs> you had me I'm like no and then you had me like, maybe, the, maybe this is getting dark dark <laughs> I did an autopsy on Richard yeah. and I, it was I mean I didn't think I would survive it but yeah. you, know, you so, are exactly it's reanimated but yeah. here, it is midnight <laughs> Uh, I mean, it was one of those ideas just kind of, that just kind of came out of the ether, and you know, clearly, you know, it was an idea that that was formed out of our childhood love of of horror films, and we've seen everything, and you know, it, was, it just kind of bubbled up, and 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 once we had the kernel, we were like, okay, there's something here, and uh, yeah, so I, I I don't think we can point to one single thing that was the inspiration for it. We're just constantly coming up with stuff and a lot of it's crazy and you know like this one we just sort of were like hmm there was it always was the same core idea it's like what if we did a movie surrounding a centering around a mysterious body that's brought in and it's, it's all about the autopsy mm -hmm. and that was just what we started with and then it you know became about like the autopsy of the characters and looking deeper into them and mm -hmm. sort of like doing deeper examinations of a father and son and so it just kind of but it all came from that just germ of an idea Talk about your uh, writing process, because uh, you know, obviously, you see screenwriters they write on their own, and then you guys are uh, collaborators. Can you talk about that a little bit. We uh, the the way that we write is we we kind of outline the movie. We you know obviously come up with the idea together, outline very in a very detailed way together, and then we'll go off and kind of write uh, each write a half of the movie and trade pages and kind of rewrite each other and you know send things back and forth and for us you know one of the fun things about writing a genre movie a horror movie in particular is trying to come up with stuff that 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 scares each other and so we would you know we would be trading trading sections late at night and i knew that i had something good when i would get a response from him the next day like i hate you i i, I couldn't sleep last night so that's pretty awesome yeah yeah uh, Richard is much stronger with uh, being able to handle horror stuff late at night. I genuinely am afraid of it. Like, I can't watch something <laughs> yeah. scary. I can't write something scary by myself because it, it scares me. Richard, you prefer to write it during the day. I do. I do. I have to because I really buy into it all. So, uh, yeah, that, that's sort of... That's, uh, that sounds like a really great, it sounds like a really great collaboration because you're uh, uh, two obviously uh, different individuals so you can bring different things to the table. Yeah, yeah exactly. for sure. For sure, I think uh, you know that that's what what makes it a, a great partnership. That that we don't kind of overlap. Really. So. Oh, I wish you guys much more success and enjoy this premiere. Thank it's you. It's going to be an amazing night. We're Thank excited. You. We yeah. hope everyone likes it.